The history of Microsoft Windows spans 40 years, from its start as a graphical shell for DOS to a modern operating system. Windows, the early days from 1985 to 1994. In 1985, it was Windows 1.0. This was the first version, an extension of MS-DOS with a graphical user interface or a GUI. Windows tiled, they did not overlap. In 87, Windows 2.0 introduced overlapping Windows, the ability to minimize or maximize, which was a pretty big deal, and the control panel, another substantial move forward. In 1990, Windows 3.0 gained popularity, introduced the program manager and better memory management. And in 1992, Windows 3.1, that added true type fonts for better printing and bundled the game Minesweeper. The desktop revolution was between 1995 and 2001. In 1995, Windows 95 was born. A major, major overhaul introduced the start button, the start menu, and the taskbar. It integrated the internet and supported long file names. In 1998, Windows 98 was born. It added better support for USB devices and new hardware like DVDs. In the year 2000, two years later, Windows ME, <laughs> pretty bad version of Windows, if you remember remember it, Millennium Edition, the latest version based on old MS-DOS code focused on home users but received poor reviews. It really did. In 2001, XP, a landmark release with a new colorful interface based on the stable NT kernel for both home and business use, it became a long-standing standard. 2007, Windows Vista introduced arrow glass visual theme and major security changes like UAC or user account control. Users disliked its heavy system resources. In 2009, Windows 7 was born. This is one of the better operating systems, to be honest, or some people say the best. A refined version, really, of Vista, highly popular for its speed, stability, and improved taskbar. One of the worst operating systems, aside from ME, was Windows 8, a radical change with the Metro interface designed for touchscreens and tablets and the start menu was removed, <laughs> which was a radical move, that's for sure, and replaced with a full screen start screen. So the modern systems from 2013 to present, they actually fixed and put back the start button in Windows 8.1. And then Windows 10, that was born in 2015, marked a return to the classic desktop merging, the start menu, and live tiles of Windows 8. It established a model of continuous, smaller updates rather than major new versions every few years. And the latest, of course, Windows 11 2021, that happened, introduced rounded corners and new snap layouts for multitasking. Now, Windows 11 is overall a fairly stable operating system, but where Microsoft is taking Windows 11 and probably future operating systems is into the world of AI. Maybe Windows 12, Windows 13, Windows 14 will go back like Windows 10 did to a more classic desktop because that's what, in all honesty, the majority of people want anyway.